Hello there, welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about some fabulous hair products and a hair tool that I have been using since my last salon visit. If you saw that video, you know that I went super blonde this time, which meant a lot of extra bleach and damage on my hair. So I knew that I was going to not only be needing some really good hair masks, but some toning products as well. And I was really going to have to be careful with how much heat I put on my hair. And that is why I am so thankful to Zuvi. They are sponsoring a portion of this video, but they sent me this blow dryer. It's called a halo hair dryer. They sent this to me about a week before I got my hair done. And I thought, okay, this could not have come at a better time. Not only was it going to allow me to hopefully use less heat on my hair, but it was going to really help me to truly know if this dryer does all that it's ever to do. So I'm going to be showing you a demo with this today and talking a little bit about it. And then I'm going to share with you the hair masks, the shampoos, and the leave-in conditioners that I've been using to help add the moisture back into my hair, to keep it strong, to keep it from breaking, and most of all, to keep that wonderful shine. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Now let's get started. All right, we're gonna start off with this amazing tool from Zuby, and I have a whole demo of me doing my hair today so that I can show you not only how it works, but I want to prove to you that the claims on this, especially regarding shine, are true. So the Zuby Halo Dryer uses light care technology plus wind, and oh my goodness, I will show you how strong the stream of air is from this dryer, but it uses the combination of those two things to dry your hair instead of relying on heat and wind like your typical hair dryer does. And therefore, it's a very low temperature that is drying your hair, and so that helps the inside of the hair retain much more moisture, which reduces breakage, flyaways, but also one benefit that as I was reading through their information, I was shocked to find is that it helps retain your color. So I know mine was bleached, so I was more concerned about shine. I'll talk about that as I do the demo, but in the studies, it helped increase color retention by 57%. I found that to be amazing. And it's just because it helps your hair retain more moisture. So apparently when your color is fading fast, it's partly because your hair is getting too much heat and being and drying out quicker. Now, as we jump into the demo, I'm going to show you all the aspects of this dryer in action. So the dryer itself has four different speeds on it or settings, I should say. It has care, fast, soft, and style. Now it comes with three different attachments. First is this gentle air diffuser, which helps not only diffuse the air, but the light. So you can use this on the fast or the soft setting. And that is particularly great if you have very sensitive scalp. This will help not irritate your scalp as much as you're drying your hair. The other attachment, the good old diffuser, but this is not your typical diffuser. This has this light mesh, which allows the light to actually come through. So this is especially great if you have curls. Obviously I don't, but this is a great attachment to help you dry your curls and diffuse the air, but also keep that moisture in and using that light technology again. The third attachment is a styling concentrator. And this is typically what I use for all of my blow drying on my regular dryer. But this one you only use on the style setting and what that when you put it on the style setting, it turns off the light. So then you're just getting the airflow. And they recommend to just use this kind of towards the end of your styling or if you're somebody who's gonna be using a round brush to curl your hair or give a little added lift at the end, that's when you would add this attachment. But I've been trying to dry my hair the majority of the time on either the care or the fast setting. So now as I am preparing to dry my hair, I am putting in only one product and that is my Catwalk Root Boost. And I'm using this product because I know this does not add any shine to my hair when it's finished. Now I did use a hair mask in the shower and I'll share that with you at the end, but I particularly did not want to add in any of my favorite oils or leave-in sprays because I just wanted to see how much shine I would end up with 
by just using the dryer. So as I'm drying my hair, I am using the Care and the Fast setting. Those have been my two that I've been going between. And I feel like dry time is pretty close to my typical dryer. So I don't feel like it dries necessarily any faster, but it also doesn't take longer and that's surprising because there's so little heat that comes out. Now you'll feel when you put your hand over the end of it, you will feel a little heat, but ironically, it has some crazy technology that alters the heat coming out based on your environment and how warm it thinks the hair is and all of that. So it's a little too smart for me, I think sometimes. But at the end, after my hair is mostly dry, I would say 75% dry. That is when I'm going to go in with the styling concentrator. And this just helps me, again, just kind of direct the, the hair kind of towards the end in the direction I want it to go. And then I will end with a cool setting. So this does have a cool setting, even though overall it's not very warm air coming out. You just have to press and hold the button that you're typically using to change between the modes. Just press and hold it and you will feel how cold the air is. I love to do this not only to seal the hair shaft, but it also seals in the style and any added shine. So now that I've finished drying my hair, I want you to take a look at how shiny my hair is. Now, so many of you had asked me after my last hair tutorial, what product I thought had contributed the most to the shine because you could see it. And I told you I had to do some more testing to be sure, but this is the final test and I wanted you to see it for yourselves that I actually believe most of the shine has come from the blow dryer itself. So if you're somebody who has really damaged or dry hair, or you do a lot of color treating on your hair, I know it's an investment, but I have found personally that this actually totally works. My hair, even though I've never had this much bleach on my hair before, I have had a lot of bleach in the past, but I know how straw-like my hair can be if I'm not using a hair mask every day. And even then, I always struggled to get that shine in my hair once it was dry. And so I was having to rely on leave-in products. Well, this has definitely just been a game changer for me. So I do have a discount code, which I'll put across the screen and I'll leave a link and my discount code in the description box below. It is for 10% off or if they are running a sale, which apparently they do often around holidays, it will give you an additional 5% on top of whatever sale they're running. So it is an investment, but it does have a two year guarantee. It's a 30 day money back guarantee. And the last thing I wanted to say about this, I pulled out my postage scale to get an idea of how heavy or how lightweight this is. And would you believe that this dryer by itself, including actually the cord, is only 20.6 ounces. That is not even one and a half pounds. I mean, I was shocked. I, I felt like it was pretty lightweight. And then I added on the attachment and with the attachment that only bumps it up to 22.9 ounces. So let's call it 23 ounces for the attachment and the dryer and the whole cord. So if you are somebody who can't handle a very heavy hair dryer, no fear, this one is super lightweight. All right, so now I want to share with you a couple of other products that I have been using to help keep my hair toned. So if you have ever had your hair bleached and you have dark hair, you will understand there is this constant battle to keep the brassiness off of your hair. And if you, even if you have silver hair, silver can kind of take on a yellowish tinge sometimes. So my top used product, and I have used this now for years, and it is again been a game changer at keeping my hair toned, and also it helps with the softness of the hair, is the Amica Buster Brass Shampoo. Now, <laughs> ignore this bottle because I bought one of those refillable packages from Amica. It was cheaper to do that, and I just poured it into one of my old body wash bottles. But this is what it looks like. It's one of the strongest violet purple shampoos, but you don't have to use gloves, and it does not dry your hair out. And in fact, when you rinse this out of your hair, your hair feels 
like it has been conditioned. The way I like to use this is I put it on and I leave the shampoo in my hair for a good couple of minutes, then rinse it out and then go in with my conditioner or my hair mask. By leaving it on longer, you're gonna get more toning. And I've been doing kind of a longer toning like that, maybe twice a week. And then I've also been just kind of on in between days, just mixing a little bit of this with my Redken All Soft Shampoo. That's one of my favorites for just kind of conditioning. Now, the other two toning products, I actually need a new tube of this. <laughs> I was in the shower using this the other day and I could not get any more out. So this is the L'Oreal Le Gloss One Step Toning Gloss. I almost put this in my hair today. I'm like, nope, because this by itself does add a good amount of shine. So this is probably the strongest toning product that I'm gonna show you today. It does come in multiple colors. I have it, this one's in Cool Blonde. This is the one that I've been using. But this one helps tone your hair and the toning color stays for me about through five washes or so. So this is another great option. I've been using this for over a year. I have a full demo and review on it. I'll tell you how I use it. I'll link that video down below. And then the third toning product, this was brand new, again, sent to me just at the perfect time. And I got to use this a couple of times over the last week and a half and it is the Better Not Younger Silver Lining Purple Butter Mask. Now actually when I opened this up I was like I actually feel like this is more blue. So it does have a tinge of purple but when compared to the Amika it's more of a blue purple and why that makes a difference is blue is actually better at taking out more orange tones and then purple helps address more yellow. They both will work on yellow or orange, but I've been using this and it works amazingly well. This is what I used today along with my shampoo. And I feel like this is probably the brightest it's been, brightest blonde it's been. Now this mask, it is very conditioning, but it is different than one of the strongest masks. So I feel like this does add a nice amount of softness, but it does not weigh the hair down. I still, when I'm getting out of the shower, the hair feels conditioned, but it does not feel heavy or really super, super weighed down with softness. So this is a fabulous, fabulous mask. And it does have kind of, wow, a very similar scent to the Amika. It's nice, it's kind of slightly perfumey, but I don't wanna say that in a bad way because I'm very scent sensitive, but it's just a nice, fresh, kind of slight perfumey scent but I don't notice it after I've gotten out of the shower. So another great toning product. And then two other masks that I have been a long time fan of. One I just recently talked about is the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair. Boy, was I glad that I had this on hand as well. And again, this is similar in the fact that it provides a lot of really good conditioning and hydration to the hair, but it does not weigh the hair down or make it feel heavy. So you can still get volume as you're styling. It has a lot of great ingredients. I have a video all about it. I'll link that. And then this one, which I discovered a number of years ago as well, this is the Joyco K-Pack Color Therapy Luster Lock. Oh my goodness, long name. This is one of those treatments that I like to do like the day after I've got my hair colored. And it's when you're in the shower and you're convinced you've made a big mistake, your hair's like straw, you put this on and leave it on for as long as you can, five, 10 minutes, whatever you can do in the shower. When you rinse this out, your hair will immediately feel like it has been repaired. So a combination of these or just one, I would highly recommend if you have damaged or highly bleached processed hair. Now, as far as leave-in treatments, one that I used especially a couple days after because we had some, it was a lower volume, but I had bleach on the scalp. I was concerned that my scalp might be a little sensitive. So I was using the Stylist Sheer Remedy Liquid Satin Treatment. I have been using just a small amount of this. I used this more kind of right initially after I got my hair done and really work this into the scalp. And I do really feel like this is a great treatment. It's not just for the hair, but also for the scalp, just to condition it. 
I haven't had any issues with my scalp since having my hair done. And my stylist was very careful with that. She was concerned, but thankfully my scalp <laughs> survived unscathed. But I know that this really helped just kind of add that conditioning I needed. The two leave-in treatments, one, again, I've used this for a couple of years. This is the Redken 25 Benefits One United All-in-One Multi-Benefit Treatment. This has 25 benefits, which includes heat protection, which Ironically, I have not thankfully needed too much of with this new dryer, but it conditions the hair, but it does not weigh down the hair. And again, this is another one of those products that if your hair is feeling like straw, I've used this on a friend who had just had a perm and I literally could not comb through her hair, wet hair. I sprayed this on and the comb just glided through. It doesn't weigh the hair down, it's great. The other spray that is very similar to it, and I used this in my last hair tutorial, is the Better Not Younger No Remorse Heat Protection and Taming Spray. This, I feel like, performs very similarly to the Redken. It softened the hair and just left the hair feeling very manageable as I was styling. So if you are somebody who has dry hair, overly processed hair, if you have blonde hair, highlights, things that you are trying to keep toned and conditioned, I hope that you will give these products a try. Check the description box below as I will have links to all of these products, including the Zuby hair dryer and the discount code. I know it's an investment investment, but I have a feeling this is going to be my go-to for a long time to come. So I've been impressed and I actually did not expect to be <laughs> impressed. So if you give this a try, definitely let me know. Thank you as always so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.